What do you think are some of the quickest and most effective ways to incorporate lower carbon fuel options that can help companies work toward their carbon targets? If you answered biodiesel and renewable diesel, then you are correct. Welcome everyone to another webcast from Chevron. I'm Julie Haverly, head of integrated go-to-market at Chevron, and I'll be hosting this webcast that will discuss how lower carbon fuels, such as biodiesel and renewable diesel, are effective options for reducing life cycle carbon emissions. And I'd like to intr introduce one of Chevron's very own biofuels experts, Kelsey Erickson. Kelsey, I'm so glad you're with us today. Can you start with a quick introduction of yourself? Thanks, Julie. My name is Kelsey Erickson. As Julie mentioned, I'm the team lead of commercial quality here at Chevron Renewable Energy Group. I've been with the company for almost 16 years. I'm definitely looking forward to some great questions today. Thanks, Kelsey. And thank you for joining us today. Um, let's just start off with the question, the main question here. You know, if companies are really looking to lower their life cycle carbon emissions in their fleets, what are some good options that they should be evaluating? All right, starting off strong today. I love it. So biodiesel and renewable diesel are good fuel solutions for helping companies to work towards their life cycle carbon emissions targets. Both fuels help reduce greenhouse gas emissions right away. And things such as biodiesel can be incorporated into your fueling system and infrastructure right away with little to no changes. And generally, this also means that engine performance isn't compromised either. Because biodiesel is naturally low in sulfur, it's a great ultra-low sulfur diesel or ULSD option. Renewable diesel is also naturally low in sulfur as well, making it also a good solution for alternative fuels. Just by adding these fuel solutions, your company can reduce life cycle carbon emissions quickly, meaning today. You know, a lot of people talk about carbon emissions, um, different types of emissions. People are trying to lower their emissions. What exactly does that mean? Can you expand a little bit more on what you mean, you know, for biodiesel and renewable diesel, what you mean by lowering those life cycle carbon emissions? Absolutely. For fossil carbon emission, which is the greenhouse gas or GHG emission that people are most worried about, biodiesel, when produced with renewable methanol, can provide up to 100% reduction when compared to petroleum diesel fuel. Without that methanol, the fossil carbon engine emissions are still about a 94 to 95% reduction, so very good reduction. Tailpipe emissions are related to the immediate and near-term air quality. Hydrocarbon emissions from tailpipe can be reduced by up to 70% with the use of biodiesel. Combustion emissions depend on the engine duty cycle and many other factors and can be reduced by up to about 70% with biodiesel. For particulate matter, for example, we can have seen reductions of around or up to about 70%, again, depending on the engine duty cycle and the type of engine used. So, you know, these are just some examples of what we've seen, but we've also seen other third-party data that corroborates this as well. That's awesome. I really appreciate you clarifying that. And I think it will be interesting for our audience to hear just a little bit more about biodiesel and renewable diesel as we go along here. And so, you know, Kelsey, I just really appreciate you providing us with this great overview of how biomass-based fuels like biodiesel and re renewable diesel can help lower life cycle carbon emissions. So if you're a company that's looking to start lowering life cycle emissions right now, you should consider incorporating Chevron's lower carbon fuel solutions into your operations. Uh, be sure to keep an eye out for this series of webcasts to learn more about incorporating these fuels into your organization. Mm -hmm.